I've seen that happen a lot in the spiritual world, that the ego takes the shape of the our higher self. And the person starts to ego trip and starts to come up with stories that the ego, their ego is telling them to do. They're ego tripping and then they're kind of labeling it that this is my higher self is telling me or this is my truth is telling me. And you want to pay attention to that because it's very, very important because this other one could actually be very damaging and destructive. And again, really, truly, honestly, if you're really honest with yourself, you really know. You really know if this is an ego trip or it's really your intuitive knowing speaking to you. And, and you can distinguish the two if you are honest with yourself and you're willing to cross-examine yourself and the evidence of what is going on, what's happening. <coughs> Excuse me. This um, I brought this subject up because um, obviously I had a chance to travel, and in my travels, it takes me to different places and. And when I'm traveling, I go through different areas of the society and I encounter um, different minds and different egos and different situations. And I start to see how uh, the general public, where is the psyche of the human mind? and how it's really focused on the accumulation of the wealth and how little value it has for spiritual development. And it's, it's uh, interesting to see that and how, and in this, traveling into these different layers of consciousness of people, then you can also see how they suffer from the fears and the concerns they have, because a lot of their fears and concerns is very clearly related to the root chakra of, of human beings, of what's going to happen to me. And if I don't have enough money, um, if I don't have enough wealth, what's gonna happen to me? But really, how much wealth or how much money does someone really need to live a comfortable life? You know, how many pieces of land do you need to have? How many homes, houses, or cars, or how much money in stock market or gold and silver coins do you really need to have, you know, for someone to live comfortably? And at one point, enough is enough. And what we really see in the world, and when I do encounter people like that, that there is this really, um, feeling, this desire, this thing, this energy, this entity that is uh, hovering around them and has taken over them, that is like, you know, they're kind of operating from the, the root chakra of this fear-based thing of more, 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 not enough, more, more land, more homes, more money, more, more, more. And 
And it's like it's never enough for them. So, but you can always look and see that what is happening with these people is also sort of a reflection of also where I am, a reflection of where we're at too. That also is their greed or um, narrow vision of how they see things that they need the more, more, more. How can I benefit from that? How can I use um, this situation that they're in, this state of consciousness that they're in? How can I um, use that to look at myself? Do I carry that? Do I have these seeds within myself? Do they reflect a part of myself? Because also it's very easy for me to sit down and point my finger at them and, and create this separation that they're separated from who I am. And then it's them and it's me and I am more conscious and they're unconscious. Well, clearly there's unconsciousness that's happening. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's very clear. We can see it very easily in the world. But how can I turn the poison into medicine? And how can I, um, if I have an observation of unconscious mind as a part of humanity or a big part of humanity is being into this dark hole and it's really uh, crawling into this unconsciousness. And I see that. How can I use that into my benefit? What can I learn from that? And how can I avoid myself to fall into the same trap given an opportunity or a situation? So, because the ego, the human ego, um, there's one major human ego that basically runs through everybody. That, that there's parts of this one human ego that it always comes to me, 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 myself. What do I get? You know, I am better, I want more. I don't care about other people. As long as I get mine, who cares about yours? Is that part of the human ego? It also runs in us. And it may hide itself in different ways. Okay, and I may come and say, well, they're unconscious and there is no spiritual values in the world. And look at me and I do conscious work and, and da, 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 all these things. But yet I have to be very careful because this ugly monster, this ego thing can come and hide itself and cover itself up in the name or under the pretense of being conscious in myself. 